Hello everyone and welcome to World Regional Geography at The Ohio State University in the spring of 2013. My name is Jessica Barnes and I'll be your instructor this semester. This course will be entirely online and this first video is just a short introduction to give you a sense of the resources that we'll be using for the class, to go over the syllabus a little bit um, and show expectations, and then to also give an introduction to myself, the instructor, and the TAs for the course. So one of the important things that I want to do with this video is to give you a sense of how the course is going to be structured um, throughout the semester. The course is going to be broken up into weekly modules that are going to focus on specific topics. and what we'll do is we have those broken down in a schedule on the syllabus and you will have a introductory video that is a sort of short mini lecture that gives you a sense of the topic overall there'll be assigned readings that you'll be expected to uh, look at for the week um, there'll be activities and then also group discussion as we get further into the quarter there might also be things like assignments due um, map knowledge tests, uh, comprehension assessments as we go forward, and those are all broken down um, on the schedule on the syllabus. Beyond these video lectures, there's also going to be a lot of other ways that we're going to interact throughout the quarter. Um, one way is through my office hours. I have an office in 1070 Derby Hall on the OSU campus and my contact information for that is on the syllabus. Um, my email address is there as well. Email is the best way to contact me. I try to answer my emails within 24 hours so that's really the best way. Um, I also have a mailbox in Derby Hall if you ever need to drop anything off in uh, paper form, but more likely you'll be using the Dropbox feature on Carmen to turn in assignments and things like that. Um, another way that I want to be available to communicate with you all is through things like chat. Um, Carmen has a chat function. There's also uh, the university is trying to implement a program called Adobe Connect to be used for things like video chat. Uh, video conferencing, things like that. But that's in a very preliminary stage. So we might adopt that a little bit as we go forward in the quarter, but we're also going to use um, Google Chat and Google Voice as a way um, for students to be able to interact with all of the uh, teaching staff for the quarter. So my uh, name on Google Chat is Barnes, B A R N E S dot geography at gmail dot com. And so I'm going to hold office hours uh, both on campus and um, virtually as well, where I'll be available um, via Google Chat, via Chat on Carmen. If you want to video conference with me to answer your questions, um, that'll work too. My office hours are going to be on Tuesdays from 1 to 2, and those will just be sort of virtual office hours where I'll be available online. And then Thursdays 4 to 5, I'll actually be on campus, but available virtually as well. I'm also available um, by appointment. And please do feel free to contact me throughout the quarter. It's um, you know, very important that if you're having problems, you feel free to come to myself or the teaching assistants to help you out. That's what our job is, is to help you learn this material. And we're more than happy to talk to you about that or anything else that we might be um, of assistance with as you move uh, through school, whether it's uh, research things that we do that you might be interested in or if you have um, notions of going on to graduate school, uh, we're more than happy to talk to you about that sort of thing. So the main way that you'll interact um, with all of us uh, through the quarter is the OSU course management software Carmen website. You've obviously figured that out because you've gotten to this video. Um, but on Carmen, you're going to have classroom resources like your syllabus, um, your instructions for assignments, uh, study guides, things like that. Uh, you'll have access to readings. Um, you'll also have access to discussion groups throughout the quarter um, and things like that. So Carmen is going to really be your go-to resource for everything this semester. Um, another resource that you're going to need for the quarter is the textbook we're using is called World Regions in Global Context um, by Marsden. 
and we're using the fourth edition which came out in 2010. There is plenty of copies floating around because I've used this textbook in the past for large classes at OSU, so you should be able to get it fairly inexpensively used. The um, publishers also offer a virtual version of this as well that you can buy, and I've included a link to that um, on the Carmen class site. Another important resource that we're going to use this quarter is uh, Google Earth and Google Mapping software. Now, both of these things are free online and there's download links within uh, the Carmen content page for you to be able to put this on your computer. To be able to use um, the uh, Google Earth and Google Maps in a way where you can save your work and share it with other people, you need to establish a Google account, um, which is basically like a Gmail account. If you already have uh, one, you can go ahead and use that. Um, but you also might want to uh, set up an account that's specifically for this class in case you feel uncomfortable sharing your personal account with either myself or other students in the class. Another important aspect of the course that I'm sure you want to hear about is student evaluation. Um, on the syllabus, it discusses this as well. Um, so student evaluation is going to be based on a series of things. Uh, the, um, an important one is activities, participation, and online discussion. So every week there might be particular activities that you're asked to engage in. You might be asked to explore part of the world um, with Google Earth. Um, you might be asked to um, do a particular reading, do some sort of project. Um, and then also online discussion with a peer group um, as an important part of that grade as well. This is a pretty large class. Um, enrollment was about 150 students um, as we begin the course. So we've broken up uh, the class into groups of six or seven um, for online discussions. Those groups are going to hopefully hold throughout the quarter unless you have um, problems with your particular group. And if you do have problems for some reason, please feel free to contact me and we'll make adjustments. There's a handful of assignments that you'll be expected to complete this quarter. Um, some of the important ones are three current event assignments. Those are basically assignments that you do where you take a news story from whatever part of the world that you're interested in and you analyze that using some of the tools and concepts that we introduce here in the course. Um, and then you also use uh, Google Maps to create a map that illustrates the spatial aspects of those stories. Now, World Regional Geography kind of breaks the world up into 10 different regions. And you're only going to be asked to do current events for three of those regions. You can do them on whatever region you want, um, but you just have to make sure that you do uh, three regions, and it kind of breaks that down on uh, the instructions for the assignment itself. And that'll be worth 25% of your grade. Uh, another 15% of your grade comes from a commodity chain assignment that's going to be due at the end of the quarter. You will do that in uh, groups of uh, two or three, and we'll have sort of a virtual uh, presentation session at the end of the quarter that looks at those commodity chain assignments. We'll talk about that a little bit more um, as we go forward and there are instructions for that up on Carmen as well. Another aspect is uh, what we're going to call map location knowledge. Typically when people think of geography they think of naming the capitals of the states, things like that. That's not really the main focus of a lot of geographers but it is really important to know where places are located throughout the world so we can try to understand uh, some of the relation relationships between them and so you're not stuck on um, some quiz show someday and not having the knowledge to answer sort of basic geographic questions. So we're going to use um, some online basically game software to try to understand um, and learn um, some of these uh, map knowledges. So there's a link within the syllabus to um, a website that has um, basically games that sort of help teach you place names. And um, as we get into talking about each particular region, we're going to, rather than having um, sort of map, particular map quizzes, we're going to use your scores on these games as a way to earn points uh, regarding map knowledge and to sort of learn and memorize these sorts of places. Um, another part of your grade is going to come from what I'm calling comprehension assessments or exams. 
the first assessment is going to be sort of short essay or it can be a more creative project that um, looks at place and gives you a sense of um, analysis of a place based on some of the concepts we've introduced in the beginning of the quarter that or the semester sorry um, that takes place in about the third week of class there'll be two more assessments as we go through the quarter um, the last one will be during finals week all of these will be offered online. As I said, the first one is kind of a more essay project-based assessment. The other two are going to draw on things like um, multiple choice, short answer, essay, things like that as well. Those are each worth 10% of your grade. All your grades are going to be posted on Carmen in the gradebook. Just to kind of reiterate um, what you'll need to take care of uh, this week. There are some reading assignments. There's um, just the first couple pages of the textbook. We're going to break that first chapter up and read it over the course of the next three weeks. There's a video um, called The Geospatial Revolution, which gives an introduction to some uh, geographic technologies. So if you can watch that video, which there's a link to on the syllabus um, and also in the Carmen content, and kind of uh, get a sense of what technologies are out there, how they're used, and think about how um, these might apply to your life. There's also a um, short, uh, I believe it's uh, the introductory um, chapter to a book um, on place by a geographer called Cresswell that gives a great introduction uh, to some of the basic concept in, concepts in, in geography, place, space, landscape, etc. So if you can um, read that chapter and try to make up working definitions that you'll be able to deal with throughout the quarter for these big ideas, that would be excellent. Um, so your assignments for this first week. Um, the first is a student survey that I talked about at the beginning of this video. Um, just Again, just give us a sense of who you are where you're coming from, etc. There is a second survey that is about your impression of different places throughout the world. Now this survey is anonymous. It's just to give you, it's a tool that we use that will sort of uh, put the data together um, and introduce each unit that we talk about with um, a sense of what people think of these particular places and then check those um, stereotypes against the reality of some of these places. Um, another aspect that I'd like you to take care of this week is to look at the prompt that I have on um, the Carmen page for creating a learning plan. If you could also be sure to um, get the resources that we need for cor the course, the textbook, um, to install Google Maps, um, and to do a Google Map exploration. That will be posted on Carmen as well. It kind of gives you instructions to walk through, and they'll be related um, survey at the end of that that will have questions I hope you can answer for us. And then lastly, um, if you can participate in uh, your discussion group, there's a prompt for the discussion group online. Um, and how we'll do the discussion groups throughout the semester is um, there'll be a different leader within the group each time. You can choose leaders however you want. Um, but they'll be responsible um, at the end of, of your talk to basically um, come up with a short answer, um, your group's response to the prompt questions. And you can do discussion in whatever way works for your group. So you might use um, the discussion boards on Carmen. Um, if you are all available to be able to do this, you could use things like chat, you could use things like um, video chat, whatever um, works for your particular group. Um, there's dates due for um, the assignments and assessment to try to get those in by Sunday um, at 11.59 at night. That would be great. So I'm excited to work with you all this quarter. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. So I look forward with work to working with you all, and um, welcome to Geography uh, 2750.